guys! Welcome back to my channel. And um, I thought of making this video para lang din may update kayo sa aking pregnancy journey, which I'm loving so far. Um, well, I love it naman. Medyo masaya naman yung journey ko. Medyo may ups, may downs. Siyempre, iba, iba rin yung nararamdaman ko. Pero, I want to tell you guys kung ano yung mga naramdaman ko nung first trimester, second trimester. And, ngayon kasi I entered my third trimester. I am actually 29 weeks already. Pero, paglabas nito, 30 weeks na ako. Oh my God, lapit na. So, I'm in my third trimester already. So, pasensya din. If I do this video, I'm always like this. Halata naman na you know, ano lang, relax lang, chill lang yung itsura ko, and all. And as you can see, um, feeling ko na papansin nyo din na iba na yung background ko. <laughs> yes, I'm fixing, we are fixing my daughter's room, unti-unti. Um, we colored the walls uh, purple, and then there's a closet here, kasi dito lang din yung gamit ko. And um, if you can see the back, there are baby stuff there. So, inaayos lang namin meron din dito. It's not yet super, super duper um, fixed. Kasi unti unti pa lang dumarating yung things. And I'm still nesting. I think that's the term. I'm still nesting. Um, unti unti pa lang dumarating yung mga gamit, mga in order, mga gifts. Ang kompleto ko pa lang is yung hygiene kits niya. Paligo, may pampers na na konte from Huggies, um, yung mga tiny bud stuff, mga Mostella. Um, syempre, I have to try pa yung mga, di ba, trial and error din daw yun. So, I'm so excited. Medyo complete na yung nandyan ko, mga cotton balls. So, nandyan na rin yung for my hospital bag. Of course, I need the maternity pads. I was told that. So, yun, naka-fix na siya, naka na siya sa likod. Pero, the whole room, medyo magulo pa siya. Kasi we still have some things that I have here. My things are here pa. So, unti-unti. <sighs> Bagot ako. Meron din ako mga kabatch na preggy din ngayon. And I'm so happy na may mga kabatch ako kasi feeling ko may kalaro na yung daughter ko agad. Diba? Magkakasing edad sila. Which is fun. Um, I'm so excited for my friends who are pregnant also. And sabay-sabay kami mga nganak. We are asking each other questions. Siyempre, nauna ako ng konti sa iba. So, nagtatanong sila. And ako naman, nagtatanong sa ibang friends ko na nag-give birth na a few months back. So, I ask for advice kung anong na-feel nila. And um, I thought of doing this video because maybe you have some questions also kung ano na-feel ko nun. And sana masagot ko for this video. I mean... Iba-iba naman yung pinagdadaanan ng mga preggy mommies, di ba? Um, so, this is my experience. So, here we go. So, no first trimester ko, I... A fact. This is a fact. I didn't know I was pregnant, actually. Nalaman ko lang, palabas, malapit na ako lumabas sa lock-in taping ko with Eat Bulaga. I didn't know I was pregnant then. So, I was dancing talaga. As in, wild. Pero... Ang weird daw. Laging masakit yung likod ko. Uh, nasus nahihilo ako madali. Nasusuka ako. And then, I love coffee before. But that time, parang rin yung rejection ng body ko. So, hindi, hindi ko alam kung bakit. And I'm so tired. My back hurts. Ganyan. And then, I was, I was thinking also that I was late sa period ko. Pero it wasn't a big deal. Kasi, usually, late nga siya for a week or two. Minsan, namawala na lang sa isip ko, di ba? And then, I don't know. Feeling ko, intuition, uh, kutob ba? Kutob na lang talaga. And what I did is, I messaged my younger brother, my little brother, Vito. I messaged him because I didn't want to message my partner, I didn't want to message my kuya. Si Vito lang talaga yung message ko. Kasi, yun, he doesn't ask questions. And feeling ko, mawawala lang din sa isip niya after a while. So, I messaged him. Sabi ko, pwede bang pag-grab ako? ng PT. So, explain ko pa sa kanya. And he was really kind enough to buy it for me. So, pinagrab niya. I sent money through Gcash. So, pinagrab niya sa akin doon. Hi guys! So, I'm at work today. I've been here sa lock and taping namin here in um, APT for a few days already. 
and I kind of felt um, kind of weird for some reason and I um, I called my brother <laughs> yes I called my brother to help me with something just so malaman ko yung nararamdaman ko ngayon um, we'll see kung anong kalalabasan I'm just waiting for it and we'll see <laughs> kinda nervous though we'll see I took siguro two tests and to my surprise it was positive and I just found out <laughs> So, first one I called was my OB. Siyempre, nagulat din yung OB ko because um, may mga pinagdaanan din ako because I had endometrioma, I had PCOS already. So, we didn't really expect, di ba? Um, to be honest, we were trying but we didn't expect kasi nga, medyo marami pa akong, siyempre, I was taking meds. But so there's some complications. And then, nagulat kami, pero my OB said I had to go through an ultrasound, just to be sure, before I, you know, um, make it like mag expect ako or something. So I followed her. Nagtuloy tuloy pa rin ako ng work because after my lock-in taping, I had shoots for a brand. I had different shoots for, and I still had work. I had to host. I had to do a um, show for a brand online show. So tuloy tuloy ko pa rin yung pero. My body felt weird na talaga because I was really like hilo ako na susuka ako. Tinitiis ko na lang din siya and I didn't tell anyone. So when I went to the OB with my partner, doon na naging sure lahat. We were so happy. But then syempre, um I think it took a toll on me kasi super bad talaga no siya hilo, heartburn. I felt everything um, in my first trimester. I think I was seven weeks. First trimester, seven weeks nun. I was advised by the doctor to rest talaga. Kasi I had a little bit of spotting also. And, you know, listen to my body and wag i-push yung limit, kumbaga. So, syempre for me, I want to take care of my baby. I want to take care of my body and it was so hard for me to work because I also had dapat may show akong gagawin na teleserye. Um, I talked to our bosses at GMA and they're kind enough and very very understanding. So, sila na rin nagsabi na I have to rest which is um, I'm so grateful for them talaga. So, yun. First trimester, ang nagamdaman ko super bad guys. <laughs> um, nausea, heartburn, Grabe, as in, my boobs hurt so much. It was really uncomfortable. Pero hindi halata sa body ko that I was pregnant. So, medyo slim, slim pa talaga ako nun. Yeah, basically, that's it. Uh, I wasn't really looking for food. I just wanted to lay down. And kasi laging heartburn, heartburn talaga. I don't know why. I stopped um, coffee, wala na, nothing. As in, lahat ng bawal. I stopped na. And started my meds na... Um, yung mga vitamins. Ang stinart ko lang is vitamin C and I forgot, pero magsushow siya dito. Siya din. <laughs> yun yung in-advise sa akin i-take. And then, um, tuloy-tuloy yun. I think the whole tri first trimester was really bad. Hanggang second trimester, medyo nag-carry over siya. But I had a little more energy. Um, I wanted to have more energy because sabi ko nga, I didn't expect that our movie sa MMFF Nelia would you know, be chosen sa Magic 8 ng MMFF. So, I really wanted to help promote then. Pero, it was also hard for me because my body is still trying to adjust sa lahat na nafe-feel ko. So, yun. Um, second trimester, medyo nawala na yung pagsusuka. Pero, heartburn is there. Yung hilo ko nandun pa din. Ang ginawa, ginagawa ko, ice chips. Ice chips and small frequent meals, and then I had a little more bump already. Mapapansin mo na na nakaharin na ng veins yung gilid ng um, tummy ko. I lost weight because I think dahil sa pagsusuko ko din ng first trimester, 
So, tuloy-tuloy pa din siya. I was trying to adjust pa din kahit pagod lagi. But, as I said, I had a little more energy, which is good. Um, paglilihe, I think that's one question. I didn't really find anything na unusual na lihe. Kasi diba may mga stories na I want, it, I want um, this specific burger from this specific restaurant. Wala. Wala namang ganun. I just really wanted to eat rice. Till now, rice. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, rice. And then, yung mga hindi ko gusto before, hindi mang hindi sa gusto. Hindi ko siya preferred. Suka, pickles. Um, hinahanap ko siya. Gusto ko yun. Uh, favorite din yun ng partner ko. Feeling ko lahat ng gusto niya na hindi ko gusto before na food, bigla akong hinanap. So, I was, I really was looking for suka, pickles, kanin, itlog. Kailangan may itlog ako sunny side up, scrambled, boiled egg. Doesn't really matter. Basta may itlog. And dapat may kumakain akong breakfast. I love breakfast food. So, I always crave for hot dog, tocino, tuyo, um, corned beef. I know, it's very unhealthy. I know, guys. Pero, yun lang yung hinahanap ko. So, nothing, nothing very hard for my for my um, partner, for my boyfriend. Nothing hard for him. So, that's good, diba? And I want, I look for um, sweets then. Pero, you know what's funny? Because I had a sweet tooth. So, ang hinahanap ko that, I really love chocolate, cake, pero hindi ko na siya masyadong kinikrave nung sec, lalo na nung second trimester. I was just really looking for fruits like banana, mango, ganun lang. So, Nothing grand. Rice lang talaga. Believe it or not, I was looking for rice the whole time and breakfast food. And then, come, I rest na rin ako, nag rest na ako sa work. Actually, nakaka miss talaga mag work. I miss working. Yun lang the hardest part for me is I have to stay home. I can't move as much, which is weird because my body is sa nice, sa dancing, sa workout, and then biglang, I have to lay low. So, walking, I had to stop walking for a time then. Um, because, syempre, I wanted to take care of my body. Comes third trimester, chirin! Iba rin. Nag-iba naman yung feeling ko. I still look for rice. But, physically, <sighs> extra tired. Salita lang ako mahaba, pagod na ako. Maglakad lang ako ng 10 minutes, pagod na ako. But, I try, I'm very grateful din sa partner ko kasi we, he works out almost every day before he goes to work. And talagang gusto niya sabihin sa akin. Kasi talagang hinihila niya ako, do you want to walk? Do you want some fresh air? That's why, if you see my stories, I'm always at the park. Um, it's either I um, sit down lang, get some sun, and um, walk. I walk so mga one round sa park. Or just 20 minutes. Pero I'm so tired na. As in, <clears throat> so tired. Sleepy also. It's also a part I'm sleepy. But itong third trimester talaga pagod. Super. Kahit tatayo lang ako, after ko mag wee, -wee. <sighs> Pagod. Um, speaking of wee, -wee uh, mas grabe din ako mag wee, wee ngayon. I don't know why, pero the wee, -wee. Uh, Basically, it's just really uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable most of the time because my, my belly now is really showing already. It's a bit heavy also. So when I sleep, it's very uncomfortable. Medyo uncomfortable pag straight yung higa. Uh, so I have to to sleep on my left or my right. Pero usually I sleep on my left. Pero I can't stay long. Kasi masakit naman yung likod ko. So lilipat na naman ako. So pag masakit na naman, lilipat na naman ako. So yun siguro yung hardest. Kasi syempre, antok na antok ka. Uncomfortable ka. Magigising ka. Masakit likod mo. So I think yun yung medyo struggle sa akin ngayon. Yung sleeping pattern ko. Putol-putol. Pero, um, I try. Parang, minamassage yung likod, yung legs ko minsan nagka-cramps din. So, I think yun yung difference na na feel ko from first and second. Next is, I try to stretch, but I have no motivation to stretch. As I said, um, I'm very, very tired agad. I don't know why, kahit kanyan lang super. Pregnancy brain. Pregnancy brain, means uh fudge it <laughs> pregnancy brain i 
I tend to forget a lot of things. I'm so clumsy. I don't know why. Even the name of a friend, na kilalang kilala ko, bigla ako malilimutan. Or my cell phone, I don't know where I place. It's just in front of me. Or small stuff. Feeling ko na ano yun rin yung partner ko. So I'm sorry. Pero he understands naman. So I tend to forget some stuff. Lagi na sa dulo ng dila ko. I don't know if totoo pala if that's real or it's just me. Pero yeah, I tend to like nagfo-fog yung utak ko as in slow as in lag. Sorry, sorry love. <laughs> Kasi syempre siya yung lagi kong kasama and minsan na sa akin pala yung suse, I forgot I forgot na sa akin. So mga ganong I also saw nung nag-TikTok ako, may mga comments na sa buti hindi nag-hard yung chan mo or something like that. Actually, nararamdaman ko na rin siya bef uh, yeah, I I've I felt it already parang solid hard rock nung chan ko. Pero I think there's nothing to worry about. Ang sabi sa akin ng doctor ko, it can be Braxton Hicks daw. Um, it's, I think, uh, false labor. It's not labor, pero Braxton Hicks. And I just have to relax. Sit down, don't strain my body, um, change position. If it happens when you lay down, change position. Mabilis lang naman siya mangyari. So it's not, it doesn't hurt. Also, it's just really uncomfortable. But I felt that already. And then, Di naman din siya mahaba because I read also, di ba, pag contractions tawos medyo mahaba yung pagitan. Pero if you feel that it's different already, I suggest you talk to your OB. Oh, and then my vitamins ngayon, dinagdagan na rin siya because um, tong third trimester papasok, I always um, nahihilo ko. Super. Lalo na pag mainit, when I wear a mask, syempre lalo na yung may mask din. Super hilo ko kahit nakaupo when I stand up. I don't know why. Uh, so, dinagdagan yung medicine ko. Even sa bones ko, dinagdagan um, Caltrate Plus, Iron, um, Obimin Plus. Obimin Plus is my multivitamins, Reggie multivitamins, and then vitamin C. So, yun yung binigay sa akin ng OB ko. Pero again, please ask your OB ko anong okay na gamot for, for you guys. But I portion it. I don't drink it sabay sabay kasi. Hindi siya advisable. So, iinamin ko siya. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, hahatiin ko yung mga vitamins ko. And then, cellulites. I do have cellulites even before I got pregnant. So, I have here. So, it's okay. It's normal. Stretch marks. One thing that help, I think helped me is prior to me getting pregnant, I'm using um, stretch marks cream na talaga. So, talagang, I use it sa chan ko. Pero I don't use just one product. Hinahalu-halu ko siya. So I have a cream, I have a lotion, I have oil. So top three na naginagamit ko. Um, actually, madame. Mostella, I use that. Their stretch marks cream. Palmer's butter and the lotion, I use that. And ngayon naman, I'm using buds and blooms. I use yung parang may cooling effect nila. It's pink. Um, I also use it sa my boobs when it's ilalo na pag nangangate, I put it, it has a cooling effect. Um, bio oil, I also use that. So, ina alternate, alternate ko siya. And I think it's helping because so far, sa tummy ko, wala pa akong nakikita ang stretch marks. Um, hoping na sana tuloy tuloy na ng ganun. Pero, syempre, I, had, I have stretch marks sa my butt. Um, before din kasi ako, yung lumaki ako, pumayat ako. Sa butt talaga meron na ako, but now medyo halata na siya pa. And tuloy-tuloy ko lang yung, yung mga yung regimen ko and I think it's helping naman. So, so far yun. But I also noticed now mas krumabi yung, yung um, parang veins na nakikita ko sa tummy ko and sa likod ng legs ko. I think that's very cause veins. So, yun din. So, what I try to do every night is papahinga ko yung pa ako itataas ko massage ng konte so sana sana mag help um i'm also struggling syempre lalo na when i meet people pag sinasabi nila sa akin na parang oh uh, ang liit ng tummy mo oh are you, are you really pregnant oh um may iba pa na oh ang laki mo na so every time they, they see me but tas yun yung una nila minsan pag sinasabi nila na mapapraning ako kasi sabi ko is there something wrong with me there's something wrong with my baby so when i talk to my ob usually yun yung mga tanong ko eh as long as she reminded me syempre na as long as your baby is healthy and 
uh, right weight, right size. Iba-iba naman ang katawan ng mga pregnant women. And we don't have to worry about that. Iba-iba yung shape namin. Iba-iba kung, diba, kung maliit o malaki, malapad o hindi. So, hindi naman dapat doon. And sana pag nakikita nila kami, I don't, I hope hindi yun yung una nilang sasabihin. Kasi minsan napapraling ako. Um, I don't, you know, that's why on social media, I tend to like read yung mga accounts na positive talaga. Positive yung mga sinasabi, positive um, yung pwedeng makatulong sa amin uh, mentally. Kasi syempre natatakot na rin ako, kinakabahan na rin naman ako. So, yeah, yun lang din yung sinastruggle ko kasi sometimes nag-overthink na rin ako. And yung partner ko naman always reminds me that as long as you're okay, as long as um, sabi na opin mo okay lahat, yun na lang iisipin ko. Our baby, my baby girl, has been really moving actively in my tummy. So, parang saya. Oh my gosh. Kahit medyo masihit minsan. Very active. Feeling ko nag-gymnastic siya or nag-boxing siya sa tummy ko. Like, because her dad is really good in boxing also and martial arts. So, feeling ko na nag-martial arts siya. Tan ko, siya tumatumbling-tumbling siya o kaya sumasayaw siya or something. Usually at night, ganun siya. Or after ko kumain, sobrang saya niya siguro. Nagugulat na lang ako. Minsan it hurts, pero you know, it's... I really don't mind because I love feeling. I love feeling her. I love that she's active and she's playing inside my belly. I love it. I super love it. Um, okay, ito, medyo TMI. I know you're gonna... You're also curious. My boobs, um, mas lumaki, of course. Pero hindi na siya masyadong masakit compared nung first trimester and nung early second trimester. Siyempre, um, medyo yung uh, nipple part, um, nag-iiba nag na rin ng color and yung size niya. I think nag-prepare na rin siya to breastfeed. I hope makapag-breastfeed ako and maging okay, di ba? Pero kung hindi, okay lang din. Um, wala namang masama. Either formula or breastfeeding. Wherever the mommy um, is comfortable or kung ano ang gusto niya and ano ang mas okay for her, I think yun ang mas okay. Pero I think my boobs are also preparing for that na rin. Sometimes kasi I think pregnant women gets annoyed so much. I hear stories about that. Pero ako recently, I think my hormones, I get so emotional sometimes when I think about stuff pag kinakabahan ako, iiyak na lang ako. Pero tahimik lang ako. Kasi I don't want my partner to see me cry. <laughs> Baka sabihin niya, nangyari dito. If I want to rest, I don't want to hear any extra noise. So yeah, and clingy na ako sa partner ko. I think kasi siya yung pinaglilihan ko more than rice. May belly button. I think people also ask about the belly button. Um, I can see the inside of my belly button now. Pero so far okay naman. Na na amaze ako kasi siya yung dati hindi ko nakita ngayon. I can see it already. Oh, and I have to make sing it. A third trimester, I gained so much already. Nagain na ako. I think I am. 60 something, 60 point something kilos. I don't know now, <laughs> but I keep on eating. As in, I love eating now. So, pagkain ng partner ko ako nyo kumain ako nyo muubos. No joke. But it's normal. It's okay. Enjoy the process. I took my glucose test. It's a little bit lower, low. There nothing to worry about. Everything's okay. So I don't want it to get high. So, kahit kain ako ng kain niyon, tinitcheck ko pa din yung mga sugar. <laughs> Pero yeah, um, iba-iba talaga yung nangyayari sa body pag pregnant. Nagugulat pa rin ako, na amaze ako. Grabe maging, grabe yung changes. Ang galing ng katawan ng babae. Na amaze ako. So, sa mga naging mommies na and going through the same thing, um, I salute you guys. And sa mga mommies like me, good luck sa atin. Kaya natin to. Let's just enjoy the process. Let's just enjoy the journey. So, if you gain few pounds, it's okay. It's for you and the baby. Um, nothing to worry about, diba? So, let's just enjoy it. I've been using this app. It's called the Pregnancy Plus app on my phone. It's been really big help. Kasi nandoon yung kung anong size ng baby nyo. Now, kasi it's a puppy. Anong size ng baby nyo. And then may mga, yeah, vlogs na mga write-ups din na what do you expect? Um, mga tips, kumbaga. And then may mga... Um, pregnancy write-ups, 
kung ano yung pwedeng gawin and then meron din reminders kung ano dapat ilagay sa bag ganyan so it's been helping me a lot kasi every day iba-iba yung topic weekly may kita mo rin yung changes of the para bibigyan lang kayo ng idea kung gaano kalaki na yung baby and kung ano yung itsura niya sa scan ganun it's been helping me kasi syempre yung schedule ko dun ko na rin siya um chine check ko ano okay kung kailan mo kung kailan mo gagawin yung um, maternity bag, hospital bag, and everything else. So, it's really a big help. I think I suggest you download it. It's 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 a good app. So far, I am really, really nervous already. I'm in my last stretch of my pregnancy. Um, I want to enjoy it. It's been up, down, roller coaster ride. I'm excited to fix my baby's room. Pag dumating na lahat ng gamit. Um, I have to fix my hospital bag soon. Siguro yung mga 32, 33 weeks ako. Uh, or maybe later. I don't know. I want it to be really sure na nakaayos na siya. Siyempre, ayoko magmadali. I was told, um, siyempre mag-ready na. Malapit na kasi. Seven months, technically seven months pregnant na. And I hope no complications when I give birth. Sana safe, healthy ang baby ko. Normal lahat, di ba? And, yeah, yun lang. So far, I'm still in the process of nesting and fixing stuff. Medyo hilo sometimes. But technically, I'm just really, really, really tired. And I'm staying at home. I miss working. I really do miss working, to be honest. But, syempre, babalik din ako. Na-excite din ako bumalik. But I'm more excited to see my baby girl. So, I hope you like this video. A quick rundown, a quick update of my my pregnancy na 29 weeks update and the first, second, and third the feelings. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any more questions or anything or you have tips for me, please do comment on the comment section. And I'll update you guys more in this journey. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please do like, share, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys!